Well, good day to everybody out there. I hope everybody's staying safe and uh, staying healthy. Uh, today I'm going to be in Psalm 58, uh, focusing on verse 11. That's Psalm 58, focusing on uh, verse 11. So, to be completely honest, um, I actually didn't want to do this psalm. Uh, I read it and I was like, man, I really don't want to talk about that. Uh, but God put it on my heart and I see why now. Um, because I have this devotional and it, it was really good for me to read it. Uh, really, uh, got me excited when I was reading it and really started diving into it. So, uh, what this chapter is, it begins with in verse one, do rulers indeed speak justly? Do you judge people with equity? No, in your heart, you devise injustice in your hands, met out violence on the earth. Uh, so David is saying this at a time when the rulers of Jerusalem are kind of bending the rules uh, to harm him. And so he's saying that the rulers are acting unjustly. And this is a theme throughout history. Um, rulers have done this all throughout time. Uh, Julius C Caesar broke the rules to keep his military campaigns in Gaul and then eventually seized power in Rome. Napoleon you know, wrote the Napoleonic Code and then broke his own laws. Uh, Stalin and Hitler acted like the laws didn't even exist and just kind of did whatever they wanted. Um, and so authorities have always bended and broke the rules to gain more power. Uh, it's a theme throughout all of history with governments, everything. Um, and they especially doing do it during crises and panics. Napoleon did it, did it during the French Revolution. Uh, Hitler did it in the wake of World War One and Germany and financial ruins. Um, and so, kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? Just today I saw in the news that uh, some people are starting to protest because uh, some of the rules that they're making are technically unconstitutional. Um, and so we're starting, we're seeing a bit of it in our own times. Um, and so at the end, David, in, uh, in verse 11 David addresses the people because ultimately it is the people who are most affected by unjust rulers. Uh, the rulers gain power. They're not affected by it. It's the people who are affected by it. And so he says in verse 11, Then people will say, Surely the righteous still are rewarded. Surely there is a God who judges the earth. And so this reward uh, sounds good. Good, because we immediately think that uh, we're going to see justice done and we'll see vengeance seen against the rulers who are unjust and uh, or we'll be compensated in some kind of way for the injustice that has been done to us. Um, but we know that's not true. That's not uh, how the world works. That's not just what happens. Um, and that's because the word reward here, Mok more closely translates to fruit, actually. Uh, so the sentence changes meaning if it says, surely the righteous are still fruitful. And so it changes meaning for us because we know that in Galatians 5, uh, 22 and 23, it says, but the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And if we continue to be fruitful in times of injustice, it's a whole different meaning to that verse than being rewarded. Um, because in times of injustice, in times of change and things like that, we can still display the fruits of the Spirit. This is the exact time when we should be displaying them for everybody. Um, you know, love. Uh, we can share and display God's love with everybody in uncertain times. Joy, in the doom and gloom, we have God's everlasting joy. Peace, in uneasy times, he gives us peace and we can remain calm. Uh, forbearance, which is patiently waiting. We can patiently wait for to see God act. Kindness, acting kind to others, simply smiling, understanding of others. Uh, goodness, sacrificing and doing for others in times of need. Faithfulness, remaining faithful to God and relying on Him in uneasy and changing times. Uh, gentleness, being empathetic and caring for, those, for others, not being callous. 
Um, and then self-control, um, remaining in control and not giving in to panic. Or in times of boredom, we don't give in to doing whatever we want. Um, and these are the exact times when we should be displaying those for others. Um, and if you feel like you don't have these, then get in touch with God. This is, this is the exact time. People have tons of time on their hand. Don't find just random distractions to keep your time. This is a great time to develop a relationship with God and get in touch with Him. Um, and if you're lacking one of these, which I know I am, um, it's a great time to try and work on these, develop these, uh, just because God has given us that opportunity to do so. So uh, I hope this helped in some kind of way. I hope everybody stays safe, and I'll see you next time.